Oops, there was a time when orchids were only in demand for traditional corsages. But now the unique flower tops the list as the mo most popular on the market for so much more than just those special occasions. News Channel 9's Latricia Thomas takes us inside Lines Orchids on Signal Mountain, where their greenhouses hold decades of family tradition. Behind the sign promising a greenhouse open to orchid enthusiasts is a story generations long. Just playing out here and I just sort of follow my grandfather, you know, in his footsteps. Scott McClanless tends the greenhouses on Signal Mountain that began as a labor of love for his great grandfather, Oliver Lines. He got to be the water boy in the greenhouse and then worked his way up from there. That orchid obsession began in England and brought the family to Signal, where conditions for the flowers are pretty close to perfection. Being up here, it's a little bit cooler. Um, you know, you get more of a breeze, and it's just, you know, a much better climate. What the mountain can't maintain, electricity provides, so the orchids, once only coveted for corsages, can flourish by the tens of thousands in their vivid environment. Through breeding, people can make the flowers bigger and change the color and the thickness. This is probably eight months old right now. The substance can be different, whether some of them have a slight fragrance or not. Is sort of endless possibilities. When the crossing and pollination of the now favorite flower are done, McCandless keeps up with the young plants as they outgrow their pots. You use this to pack it in here. And waits for Mother Nature to work her magic. Until they actually bloom, you, do, you don't know exactly what they'll look like. Most orchids take about three years of tender, loving care before they're ready for retail. They, just re they really don't need that much, just enough to get them soaked. Or a visit to this Signal Mountain staple. A lot of places like the big box stores that have orchids, you know, they're nice, but you lose the experience of actually going to where they're grown. And I think that's, you know, a neat thing about being here is you get to see the whole process, not just by the end product. For Made on Signal Mountain, I'm Latricia Thomas. Line's biggest customers are florists in Nashville, Birmingham, and Atlanta, but you can also buy their blooms at their retail location at Warehouse Row and, of course, at their greenhouse on Taft Highway. Next week, Made In takes a walk on the wild side. See how these unlikely artists are making money for the Chattanooga Zoo.